Now at six new details about the man shot and killed by San Antonio police before this deadly encounter. Police say the 42 year old hit a woman with his car. Ken's five reporter Simone Simpson is following this story tonight. Leah Goldstein is the ex wife of such and Sahu and they share a nine year old son. She says he's had mental health struggles for years. We loved him very, very much. Everyone did. Speaking through tears, such and Sahu's ex wife says the software engineer was a family man. He was a great dad. I was a stay at home mom for many years and he um, provided for us. Goldstein says Sahu was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. He suffered the past 10 years with bipolar disorder. Um, he also had symptoms of schizophrenia. She says he'd get into manic episodes and wouldn't continue taking his medication. He couldn't understand what was wrong with him. He would hear voices and hallucinate and just get stuck in his own mind. Saturday afternoon, witnesses told police a man in a white BMW SUV came out of a nearby driveway onto the sidewalk and hit a 51 year old woman who police say was his roommate before taking off. He disappeared for a while. He called me and he sounded scared. And then I guess he went back to the house. Um, between that, some officers had come to, to my apartment and I had told them all his history. Um, with mental illness and, you know, he didn't have guns. He wasn't normally a violent individual. Police say they tried to contact him, but he tried to leave, putting his SUV into reverse, backing it into two officers. That's when one of the officers fatally shot Sahu. They needed to take him to the hospital. He should have been taken to a hospital, but everything went wrong. Now Goldstein is left with pictures and memories of who she says was a lovable and peaceful man. So sorry that like all of his dreams and passions, like he couldn't see them fulfilled because of, because of his illness. Simone Simpson, Ken's Five.